Hi, and welcome to Match Move for Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video, we'll be continuing the shot MM10. In part two, we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting it ready to be used. So we have Maya open, so what we need to do now is import our camera. So we go File, Import, and what we'll do, we'll go to our file, where we exported out our mail script. So if you import your mail script, it should create a scene group here. So if we double click on that and click MM to match move. Let's make that capitals, MM to match move. And we can go in here and we can select our camera. This is our sequence camera. It's got all the keyframes here. And we also have this camera here. This is the camera that we solved our lens distortion with. We can go ahead and delete that. We do not need it anymore. So now if we go to panels, we go to perspective and select post epoch. We can see we've got our looking through our camera and we've got our image sequence here but it's brought in our image sequence that we tracked with we don't want to use that because it's quite large and we really want to work with like a, a half resolution camera uh, image sequence sorry so if we select our camera we go to our tribute editor here and we can press this little triangle here and go right and select our image plane shape so what we can do is change our alpha gain to 0 0.7 and this makes it a little bit more opaque makes it a little bit easier to work with so if we go to our image name click the little yellow file if we navigate to our image sequence that we rendered off so it'd be under whatever UDP select one of the images click open and select use image sequence and scroll down to placement and change the depth to one so now if we click on our timeline, we can scrub through and we can see everything's really fast. It's very, it's, it's, nothing's really slowing down. So now if we go file, import and bring in our set geo. So we can go to our data package, set geo and bring in our OBJ. And now we have our set geo in it. So we can click on shading, a wireframe on shaded. So we can see our wireframe. So you've got some weird sort of a uh, clipping plane faceting going on there so we can click on our camera and what we want to do is near clipping plane and change just change this to one and that will remove that and you've got some quite bad anti-aliasing in this as well so if we go to renderer viewpoint 2.0 and select the box and you can scroll down and select anti-aliasing and stick smooth wireframe and multi-sampling anti-aliasing on and it'll smooth everything out but this, this can slow down your scene, so only do it if you're doing play blasts. So now we can see that we've got everything in it. It's all working pretty much perfectly. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, play blast it off for your match move reel or add some CG in here. You have all the data to create some nice renders. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on this shot, and um, I'll see you in the next shot. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.